Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. So I finally found my dream boat at Dollar Tree. Okay guys, I have been looking for this one. I hadn't seen it for very long. I saw a couple people hauling it and I knew that I wanted it and I finally found it. There was only a few. Um, usually I'm just like completely late to the game when it, when I really, really love something but or I just, it takes me forever to find it but I got lucky this time. And I found a seahorse. These are the picks that you can, um, you know, put in planters or put into the ground. How pretty is this moon with the birds flying through it and, you know, uh, you know, cross it and then the boat. I mean, what a beautiful scene that is, right? And then I love seahorses, so I got these. So these are, they've been out, you know, they've been out for maybe a couple of weeks. Um... And so I'm glad that I got them. So I just wanted to show you. It's kind of like a pop-up Dollar Tree haul because I don't usually do them on Sunday either. So um, I used to work every Sunday, but I'm a little out of work for a little while. So um, I figured I'd just show you what I got recently, like within the past day. Okay, so keeping with that nautical theme, there's these two-piece, um, they're calling it hanging decor, but... You could probably, like, stick these together and make it, like, on a tear tray, you know? I love these. I love the beach. I love anything to do with the beach. Um, I wish I could live on the beach. I mean, seriously. Um, when I was younger, I lived at the beach, practically. I used to take my youngest son to the beach all the time in South Boston. Um, and, like, you know, I grew up going to the beach all the time because I, I, I'm from Boston, so we're near all these beaches, you know? But anyway, guys, um, so I just figured I'd show you some of the cute little nautical things and tell you a little bit more about myself, in case you're wondering. Okay, now these are always at the Dollar Tree. Were they ever in white, guys? I can't remember because I'm going to end up either spray painting these or trying to paint them because my goal with these is to make a chandelier. And I'll show you the other pieces that... Um, I got because I've seen people making like chandeliers with these. Okay, and this is another part of the chandelier. So this is one of those, um, uh, what do they call these? Wreath rings, like the metal wreath ring. And then this, I got this obviously in where they have like the pan stuff. Uh, do they even have pans? Oh, I don't even know. But anyway, it's a splatter screen. And what I've, what I've seen people do is... They cut this part off at the bottom, okay, and then they take these things and then they kind of like make them into like a circle like that. They use like a zip tie for it, if you can see what I'm doing, because I don't know if I have the camera at the right angle. And then once that's open like that, then this thing will go... And I measured it in the store to make sure that thing will go in the middle of it, like that thing, thing I just told you about, <laughs> the wreath ring, okay, like that. And then this thing, I guess you take the, well, I'm pretty sure that's what she did. You take the handle off it. Um, I seen it a couple of years ago. I'll try to remember the name of the channel that I saw it on. I saw a couple of people doing it, doing it a couple of different ways. But this seems like the easiest way if you were doing it for the outdoors. But I'm doing it for the indoors, so I'm not definite if it's going to be okay. But then she'd make holes in it and stick, like, the solar lights. But I'm not going to use solar lights. I'm going to make holes in it and put, like, little fake lights, you know. I I'll figure it out, and then I'll show you how I do it. I'll try to do it on the camera for you guys because even though I have ideas from other people, I'm just going to look up, um, you know, chandelier, uh, you know, handmade chandelier, DIY chandelier, whatever, and then I'll get the ideas, but then I'll add my own touch to it, and then I'll show you how I did it, okay, or how I do it. And then on the way out, I needed a bag, so I grabbed this one. I didn't even realize I picked the wedding one. It says I said yes because they have a lot of wedding stuff there. They have really, really pretty wedding things there. And the other one that I grab is I Do Crew. But how cute is that, right? For a bride or a bride to be, I said yes. Oh my God, that is so cute, right? I love that. And then I got this hanging sign. I keep promising myself um, 
that I'm not going to buy any more signs, but I bought this one because I can take it apart. I'm going to use those ice cream cones in a DIY, and then the welcome sign, you know, can be used on its own, right? But how cute are these? They have the pink, the orange, and then the green. I thought those were so cute, and they were a good size, too. This one has a bite out of it. Let me go back. They have such cute signs. And then here's another one, Island Time. I might put that outside because I love anything to do with like campers and trailers and anything like that because we used to, when I was younger, we'd also go to a campground and we had like this big long trailer that we pulled with a van. I still don't know how that van pulled that trailer all the way up there because it was a long trailer and, um, you know, it had like, it was really nice. It was like super long. So anyway whole bunch of people was in that there was a kitchen in it it was really nice so every time I see stuff like this it brings back memories of the campground that we used to go to and um, it was so much fun uh, and then I grabbed this doodle pad you may have seen it in one of my shorts this one's called a doodle pad it has 60 sheets and it's 9 inches by 12 inches there's another one and I think it's called a scribble pad because I did put it in my shorts it is the same exact price $1.25 it only has 30 sheets in it though it's the same exact paper, you know, that paper that's kind of, it's not really the greatest paper in the world. It's kind of like, I don't know. But anyway, I figured why not, like, get 30 extra sheets, right, for um, the same price. So I grabbed this one. Here is that I Do Crew bag. That would be probably for, like, the bridal shower, right? Or maybe getting ready that day when you're getting married. Um, you know, everybody helping you get ready, the I Do Crew, right? Um, because there are still people out there that don't realize that Dollar Tree, everything is $1.25. Because when I was in one of the Dollar Trees the other day, a lady came in and she said to the guy, how much are those lays over there? You know, the Hawaiian lays. And the guy goes, which ones? No, I don't even know if he said which ones. I, I, she goes, the, you know, the lays over there. And he goes, well, everything is $1.25 in the store. And she goes, what? And so, you know, she goes, really? So anyway, there are people out there that still do not realize that Dollar Tree Everything is a dollar twenty-five. Okay, there are still, um, you know, people left in this world like that. <laughs> and then here is a folding sunglass case. I got the folding sunglasses, and now I have the case for it. But I mean, actually, you don't really have to use it for the folding sunglasses. I would think that maybe I could use it for like I don't know, I don't know anything maybe. But maybe yeah, maybe just for the folding. If I try putting change in it. I don't think it would work. I think it would fall out. But anyway, I got one of these for my folding sunglasses. And I guess maybe I probably should show you the folding sunglasses. So um, here they are. They unfold. And then they fold back up again. And somebody actually thought about making a case for them too. So let's see if they, if it, um, come back over here. Let's see if it actually fits the sunglasses and it does so there you go guys folding sunglass case okay I got a couple more things I want to show you this is so adorable right a flamingo uh, drinking cup okay how adorable is this and they're making them I notice now so nothing can kind of push through which is really good so makes it even better right and you know can't you probably can't have a lot of you know a big drink in this but how cute is that I don't care I love it and then in the fairy garden section I found this little um, this is out of the forest figurines okay and it looks like it's like a little farm um, chicken coop I guess how adorable is this I had not seen this before this is very new to me I don't know about you guys but I had never seen this before this is brand new to me and then last but not least, guys, I found this in the wedding section, okay, where they have all the things for the um, brides, you know, and, um, you know, the nails and things like that. Now, it might not be only for that, but I just did happen to find it in that section, the little pearls. The only thing that would bother me is if one of those pearls fell off and got my eye. I don't know, but anyway, they're really pretty for people who are not worried about stuff like that. <laughs> So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming along on my Sunday and taking the time to watch my video. Um, and 
I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.